Hi Aries, good morning. If it's not morning wherever you are at. Hi, hello, I hope you are doing well wherever you are in the world today. This is going to be a general message for you Aries. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. Please do not force any messages to fit. As you may find, not everything in this reading will fit you. Spirit, please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Aries needs to know right now. Let's get into your tea leaf messages, Aries. What do Aries need to know? We've got the tent. I wanted to flip over. Temporary situation. We've got victory in some endeavour. Okay, oh, we've got the door. Opportunities are waiting for you. We've got the barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money or goals. Okay, we've got the purse. Pay attention to your finances. Okay. Interesting. I'm getting for some of you, there's a, a there's a stream of income that you're overlooking. There's an opportunity. It could be that you've got a skill that you could be tapping into that you are not using to your advantage, Aries. You could feel like you, you, you can't get over some sort of hurdle. The grasshopper, situations in the balance that require careful handling. There could be something coming up where you're going to have to take some time. Be strategic about how you move forward here. We've got the unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes here. Bottom of the deck, we've got dogs. Getting together with friends. There could be some sort of social event that you are going to be, you know, partaking in, coming into or going to or all of the above. Okay. There's some sort of temporary situation that you could be going in, going, you know, happening for you at this time. It could be that you are experiencing some sort of financial bind with the purse. OK, there could be a need for you to look at your finances, possibly plan a bit better, maybe be a bit more frugal with your spending here. OK, so I just got a message. Um, be a bit more frugal with your money. OK, it could be that you um, feel a sense of lack or, so, you know, with the barrel here, you feel something is missing. And I feel like if you look really, really hard, I think you're going to realise and really use your intuition here with that unicorn, that there's actually a whole opportunity that is right in front of you that you can access in order to make a situation better for yourself. Whatever this block, you could be going through some sort of block some sort of um how can i put it some sort of um creative block you know you could be strapped for ideas or you're struggling to find you know an avenue that is going to help you in some way but if you really tap into that intuition you're going to be led to something that is actually going to help you this block this mental block is a short-lived thing that is going to be dispelling soon Let's see. Messages for Aries, please. Messages for Aries. Okay. We've got number nine. Phoenix. How's that for a happily ever after? You could have a lot of Scorpio in your charts. Number nine. Things are going to turn out a lot better than what you expect. If you are experiencing any sort of turbulence at this time, this is going to... You're going to be able to figure your way out of this, I'm getting... There is a solution. Number 28, protest, start a revolution. There could be a need for you to stand up for something, make a stand, okay, for something in your life, Aries. Number 13, lioness, you've earned all your stripes. It's been a long road for whoever I'm speaking to, Aries, okay? You could have felt like, you know, it could have taken you a long time to achieve something, a long time to get to where you're going, but there's going to be a turning point for you. If you've had any mental blockage or creative blockage or felt like you wasn't really able to move forward in some way, shape or form, this could be with anything at all, take it as it resonates. There's definitely going to be a turning point for you, a point where you take the ball by the horns with the protest 
and you rise. There's something right in front of you that is that is waiting to be given to you. I'm just getting a hand, like the, I'm getting the Ace of Pentacles card in my head. And I just feel like there's something that's waiting to be delivered to you, but you've just got to open the door. You've just got to reach out. You've just got to do something. There's some sort of action you need to take in order for it to come through for you. That's what I'm getting. Number two, evil queen. You deserve sugar, not salt. Knowing your value, do not sell yourself short. Do not settle for anything less. You are valuable. I'm here to tell you, you are valuable of the best. Do not let anybody tell you otherwise. Your wants and your needs, albeit if you're, as long as you're not hurting anybody or, you know, causing any sort of pain or anything in between to somebody else, they are valid. Your thoughts, your feelings, everything is valid. I'm feeling, feeling drawn to say that to you. If you've gone through anything where you felt like your thoughts, your emotions, your opinion, your, you know, wants, your needs weren't being met or valued or somebody tried to sell you short in some way, shape or form or treat you less than, I'm here to tell you that your thoughts, your feelings are valid. Okay. You are very valued. You are never alone, Aries. Queen of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, you are never alone. Okay, and being in this grounded energy is definitely um, helping you to be more stable, or it's going to be. Okay, there's a lot of stability that is waiting to be had for you, Aries, if you just reach out. Three of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, there could be somebody who wants to reach out to work with you. Somebody could view you as very, very stable, Aries. Could be an earth sign. And there's definitely a sense of collaboration here. With this card, we've got people standing together, okay? It could be that you are going to be fighting for a cause with other people or working towards a common goal with other people. Take it as it resonates here. And that could be the key that is going to open a whole new opportunity for you. Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Swords is in the reverse, okay? If you've worked with anybody who could have been deceptive in the past or had anybody in your energy who did not have your best interests at heart, I feel like this is going to be a thing of the past for you, Aries. And you are rising after quite a difficult, turbulent time in your life with that lioness. You could have dealt with a Leo with the lioness card, male, film, female, it doesn't matter. Queen of Pentacles, the lover's card. This is coming into balance, whether this, this is a new stable connection that you've got coming in with a Gemini, an earth sign, or whether this is just you recommitting to yourself, feeling stable and content within yourself here. There is definitely a sign, a, a, a sign, a sense, I was going to say, of togetherness and balance and, you know, stability that is about to come. If you've been experiencing any financial hardship, there's there's something that you can do if you just take a moment to tap into your intuition and think about your opportunities. Think about, you know, things that you're good at. Think about avenues that you could go down. There is a solution right in front of you. And it's actually, you know, it's it's lucrative if you tap into that, whatever that is for you. We've got the seven of cups in the reverse. Okay, we've got the world card. We've got the ace of pentacles. What did I say? Ace of pentacles. Something is waiting to be handed to you, Aries. I feel like it's just a matter of you closing out some sort of past cycle that you may have been in here. You know, it could be that you've been very confused. We've got the seven of cups here. There could have been a lot of confusion over what was going to make you happy with the ten of cups at the bottom of the deck. But with this being in the reverse... You are, if you're not there yet, I feel like you're being called to put an end to some sort of confusion. You, I'm getting an energy that you've been blocked. You've been blocked mentally here. But with the world card, you know, ending this cycle of confusion, ending this cycle of being unsure, not being able to see, this is coming. And as a result of that, the Ace of Pentacles is right here. I said it before it came out. Something is wanting to be offered to you, Aries. The strength card. I did say Leo energy. You could have a lot of fire in your chart. Six of swords. 
moving on yeah this is exactly what i'm saying the empress in the reverse ace of swords give me one more please on that ten of wands okay signs you could be dealing with aries you could be dealing with a fire sign, a fellow Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius, King of Wands. Yeah, you could definitely be dealing with a fire sign. Let's see what's behind here. Five of Wands. This person is drama, conflict. This could have been somebody who you shared a home with. For some of you, there could be a neighbour that you've been had some sort of conflict with. That's a side note. Ten of Pentacles. This could have been a family member or somebody who you shared a family with. Fire sign. Okay. Fellow fire sign. Aries, the signs I'm getting for you. I'm getting fire. I'm getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm getting um, Earth, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Could be any sign. Scorpio, Leo specifically as well. Okay, so it's exactly what I'm saying. There's an energy here of someone else, but we're going to get to that. Okay, we're going to get to that. Again, this could be this fire sign that I'm seeing at the bottom of the deck for you, Aries. Whether this is financially, because I could read this in two different ways. It could be that you've been struck for cash, as we got in the tea leaves. It could be that you've been struggling to, you know, find an avenue that is going to be beneficial for you work-wise, financially. You know, find a way to be strategic with your money, to distribute your finances in a good way here. And you've, you've, it's almost like you've been hitting a loss because of this block. I'm just getting a block here. Confusion. You could have had a lot of confusion that you've had to overcome with that strength card there. And that seven of cups in the reverse. You're overcoming some sort of block. I think I've repeated it about three times. There's been a block in your, in your um, creativity, in your, your ability to you know, have ideas come to you. It could be that you've just been distracted with so many things that's been going on with you, Aries, that you've not been able to see clearly because we do have the Ace of Swords in the reverse, which also, it also talks about clarity and not having clarity, not being able to see through the funk, see through the fuzz, okay? But there is a turning point because we do have the World card here and we've got the Six of Swords, you are moving on and closing out a cycle. For some of you, it could be that you're moving on from a past person, a relationship. For some of you, it could be that you're ending a job and you're moving into a next job. Or it could be that you're taking on something additional to um, replenish or to um, top up even your finances your you know the things whatever it is that you've got going on here but there's definitely a sense of closing out confusion closing out mental fuzziness you know if you've been in a funk you're ending that and as a result of this like i said to you we've got the ace of pentacles here there is going to be a turning point here after you do this the ace of pentacles is ready to come in for you the ace of pentacles is ready to be presented for you here it could be that you've not yet closed the cycles that you need to and this is just on the edge of being offered to you when you open that door and when you take that leap to jump on this new opportunity or tap tap back into your creativity or access something that you know is actually going to be so good for you Aries I'm seeing it I saw the ace of pentacles before it came out with the empress card in the reverse the ace of swords and the Ten of Wands, you could have had somebody, this could have been a um, a Taurus, this could have been a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a fire sign. You were dealing with somebody in your energy that almost wanted to, you know, this could have been a person, and I don't like this, I don't like this energy that I'm getting. This could have been a person who made you feel like you was limited. This could have been a person who stunted your growth. This could have been a person who planted seeds of self-doubt in you, almost like, you know, you weren't good enough. And we do have that you deserve salt. You deserve sugar, not salt. Somebody could have been not giving you your due. Somebody could have been you know, seeing your value, but tried to, you know, burden you in some way. Somebody could have been being deceptive. Somebody could have put you down. 
I'm getting an energy of somebody putting you down. This could be directly with their communication that they said mean things to you or they said, you know, things to sly things on the side. You know, that, that energy where you smile, but you're saying something underhanded, that type of energy here. I don't like this energy, Aries. But this could be somebody that's in your energy now. This could be somebody who you've moved on from. Because for some of you, it may be the case that you've moved on from this. Because we do have the Six of Swords. It's going to be different for all of you. For some of you, you are still dealing with this person. And the universe is waiting for you to rid yourself of this energy in order to reward you with this Ace of Pentacles. What I will say, what I feel drawn to say at this point, sometimes people... The things that we have around us, you know, energies that are not for us, energies who do not have the best intentions with us. Sometimes the universe holds us back and does not reward us until those people exit our lives or those people move away from us or those people have been cleansed and moved out of our lives. However painful that could be, however destructive that could be, however much upheaval that could be sometimes the universe does not bless you because your blessings that you're receiving if the people around you are not deserving of sharing your blessings if you are in a relationship for instance and you're not being treated right and spirit is seeing things behind the scenes spirit is seeing this person be unfair to you spirit is seeing people cheat on you lie on you you know create rumors create drama for you um smile to your face have poor intentions mentally, you know, they, it may not even be something that they're speaking, but it could be their thoughts, they've got, they've, they've got bad minded thoughts for you, or they're jealous of you, or they don't mean you the best, they're not on your team, they want you for an, an ulterior motive, all of the above and in between, it's going to be very different for everybody here, when spirit sees that the people around you, or the people that you want to share your abundance with, or share what you've got going on with, do not have the best intentions, they hold back on giving you the blessing until you rid yourself and you move on and you close cycles with people who are not deserving to eat the fruit that you are sowing, okay, sometimes that is what it is, sometimes we may feel like we are stuck, we may feel like things are not coming in for us, you may feel like, you know, something isn't coming in, Okay, with that barrel, something's lacking. Why isn't things changing? Why is this not happening? Why is that not happening? But if we take a look at energies that surround us, energies that we have in our life, energies that we are associated with, you know, things we ingest, things we watch, things we see, things we, it's all influence, people that we allow in our space, people that we allow in our life. Spirit does not bless you if the people around you are not deserving to share the blessings or if they feel like what they're going to bless you with, the person that is around you does not have good intentions. And I feel like you were dealing with somebody in that vibration, if I'm honest with you. Somebody could have put you down. Somebody could have been talking about you behind your back, causing things to be really hard for you, causing things to be a struggle for you. And the universe has waited for you to rid yourself of this person, of this situation, of this struggle. Close out whatever cycle this is. It will be very different for all of you. There's a lot of people here to award you this Ace of Pentacles. Okay, award you this Ace of Pentacles, whatever this Ace of Pentacles is for you. Clarify the Seven of Cups and the Strength card, please, for Aries. Jump card, seven of cups, two of swords. You felt like you didn't have anywhere to turn in the past, okay? This definitely could be past energy. Six of cups. You almost felt stuck at a crossroads, confused. This is what I'm saying. You felt like there was no way that things were going to change. But it could just be simply that you are going to be having the realisation, or this may be the realisation when you watch this, this, this is the confirmation that you need to look at your circle, you need to look at what's around you, who's around you, who's really on your team, who's for you, who shows up for you, who gives to you, who looks after you, 
because your blessings will not come in. Sometimes when people around you do not have good intentions, because you being the heart that you are, if you are a person of integrity, if you are a giving person, yeah, five of pentacles, okay? Anybody who is treating you less than don't deserve to share your blessings. If you are a person who is loving, if you are a person that is giving, if you are a person who is generous with your energy, with your time, with your love, with your vibes, you know, with yourself, okay? Spirit rewards this. But they don't like people around you who don't have the best intentions for you. And they don't allow blessings. Certain blessings cannot come in when you still have these cycles open. Okay. This is what I'm getting for you. Disappointment. Closing out cycles of disappointment. Okay. Closing out cycles of regret. Past situations. Feeling less than feeling disappointed, feeling like you're missing out on something here, feeling tired, you know, feeling like, you know, people don't have the best intentions for you, feeling worried, anxious, like you can't trust, putting an end to that with the death card, could have dealt with a Scorpio, or you could have high-aspected high Scorpio in your chart, okay, Ace of Pentacles, the Chariot card, the Three of Cups. Spirit wants to bless you. Fast forward movement. Spirit wants to bless you. This is to clarify the Ace of Pentacles. We've got the Eight of Wands. We've also got the Chariot card and the Three of Cups. This is celebration. This is fun. This is, this is happiness here. This is forward movement. Fast at that. Eight of Wands. Okay, this is celebration. Forward movement, elevation here. Okay, let me draw for one more. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. This is stability here. After being unstable in another situation, for some of you, this could be love. For some of you, you could have a water sign and an earth sign that could be wanting to come in for you. But only after you cl cleanse your energy of anything unstable, anybody who does not does not mean you the best. If somebody is making you feel like rubbish or make, treating you less than or treating you as if you don't matter, treating you in a certain way, not giving you your value, do not put up with it because letting go of it, it opens up so many blessings for your life here, Aries, magician, temperance, letting go of this, star card. What, what am I telling you? Divinely led. Spirit is waiting to bless you. Could be an Aquarius. Temperance. That's very balanced energy. The universe is waiting to give you all of these tools to manifest balance, to manifest some sort of star wish fulfillment. Okay? You've just got to say yes and do the work in the 3D to make it happen. Yeah. It's waiting to come in. Ships coming in, okay? Coming in to deliver that, that love, that, that opportunity. For a lot of you, it's going to be very, very different. Aries, that was a long reading. Okay, closing message for Aries, please. Closing message for Aries. Manifestation, what did I say? Closing message for Aries, please. Okay, grieving, boundaries. I believe yesterday someone got that talent, okay? You are worth so much more. You've got so much to offer here. Star quality energy. For some of you, you could be recognised for something that you're doing, okay? Grieving. Boundaries. Allow people to grieve your loss. Allow Set those healthy boundaries and allow people to grieve your loss who do not appreciate you is what I'm getting for you. And I'm telling you... This is what is coming. This is what is coming. Manifestation, star energy, okay? Healing. Healing, balance, new start, gifted, divine, forward movement for you, okay? Gifts from the universe, blessings. What's under here? Commitment for some of you, yeah? When you trust in the process. 
Okay, trust. Got talent. Got commitment. Solid, you know. Grounded energy. Stability for yourself in your life. When you rid yourself of people who do not mean you the best. Aries, I love you. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. Until next time, I will see you soon, Aries. You take care. Bye.